I knew a guy in high school got a toothbrush allegedly put up his butt on the. That's not rape, right? But that's not right. House? That's just good old. That's sodomy. That's at least that's at least sodomy. You're that's... fucking. You sound like a male feminist. That's at least sodomy. You got rape of when a. Uh, I might rape. <laughs> <laughs> now, see, it's it, sick. It's, it's all it's, <laughs> episode forty-eight. Our first black guy. We ended up raping him. Yeah. <laughs> it's all come back around. He thought I was gay. Then he no, he wants me to be gay. Then he wants me by second. He just wants to rape me. That's this is what we're it like, comes down. We're like the we're like the one guy from Boogie Nights who invites Mark Wahlberg into his yeah. show. He's like, jerk off me, you fucking queer. I'll <laughs> fucking kick your ass. I like how this turned into like a, a episode, like a, the movie Deliverance. Like, it's like <laughs> he's like, we gonna rape him. We gonna rape him. He's you into the woods. Matt kind of just went right. He was like, "You ever give a good old rape?" <laughs> yeah, and then you got, yeah, and then you got brought in. Got me, that, yeah, he I sold you me. on that one. That was a quick sell. <laughs> <laughs> if, if you could say "good old" in front of anything, I'm in. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there's some bad ones I could say. Yeah, there's right some now. bad lynchings <laughs> coming yeah, to us. But yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, you, it's like I li- if, I somebody like- approached me and was like, "Would you like to lynch that guy?" I'd be like, "Whoa, man, take it easy." <laughs> he came up, was like, "How about a good old lynch?" And I'm like, "That sounds great." I like. See, I like how Shane like Shane 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 said. <laughs> I wish y'all could see his face because Shane will say so like, oh when you put good old, good old in front of something man I'm down for it and then you can see him process ooh this is a slippery one I got it and then he's like I gotta write it out I gotta fucking write it uh, out right. Oh, I knew. Man. See, I knew. I knew I wouldn't hate you. <laughs> I knew if I got you down here, we talked, talked it out, had a good old talk. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny, man. Yeah, yeah it is. How, what are we at? Time was we're at fifty minutes. Fifty. Yeah, fifty. Oh yeah. man, look at that but time. That uh, I'm gonna give you a little teaser. I'm going to try to get my friend on, too, who was in jail. Oh, nice. And he talked about a little male rape, dude. Oh, no. He said, <laughs> yeah, that's... Oh, no. You get a lot of people who say, like, it doesn't really happen in that jail. Happens. He was like, yeah, yeah, it totally does. Yeah. And there was one guy who, like... So it's like this dude was getting continuously raped, and they also... His cellie oh. wouldn't let him shit in their cell. Oh. So if you're, like, a, if you're just... If you're deemed a bitch, everyone knows you're a prison bitch, no one will let you shit in the, any of the toilets. So this guy had to shit down the shower drain and mash it down with his Oh, boxers. my God. <laughs> All right, save these stories. So, yeah. so I think our... But I'm just giving you a little teaser, dude. <laughs> yeah, hopefully our next guest or eventually is going to be Matt's Matt's good friend from prison. Yeah, my childhood friend. Well, not who, my friend. Fry didn't go to prison, but he did go to prison. Yeah. No. Y'all but, weren't friends like that. Yeah, but, yeah, y'all weren't that, close friends. When you're fucking complaining... At least you're not shitting down the shower drain. And mashing it with your <laughs> fucking Stopping hand. Down, Bro, like, you gotta get, like, you get clean, you get dirty again, and you gotta get clean. You only get, like, five minutes in there anyway. <laughs> oh. I was like, it's not like that, really. He's like, well, it's not that much, but I know this one guy, and I was like, oh. oh yeah, I know the worst story you've ever heard. <laughs> yeah, my uh, my uncle was a prison warden, and his, my cousins worked there. Like, they helped with, like, the infirmary and yeah. stuff. And the in the infirmary, they would come in with, like, first off, every type of fucking AIDS. Sure. Because oh, yeah, yeah. this is just this is like, where we're anally fucking. This is like nineties. Yeah, fucking before the waterfalls video. This is well before <laughs> the, everybody stopped because of the waterfall. But like uh, they would like there was this one guy who first and they all had diabetes at this. Like they were uh, all yeah. fucked from just the age shit. and diabetes. They had everything. And uh, <laughs> this one guy was like, he was like he would get fucked so much. That like his cell was like it was just a revolving door God. of dudes going in and out, and he wasn't getting fucked. Like he was gay at that point. Like he had fucking yeah. adopted the fucking crop top. Yeah, what's well, how he's, he's going to survive? Shoes and shit. That's one way yeah. to pass the time in jail. Though, no, he's going to survive he that got, way. He got AIDS. He yeah. died. Oh well, okay. <laughs> he, well. Died he, he, from AIDS. he did. He did not survive. He <laughs> had the worst death. Imagine you get you get fucked in your butt to death on a steel, not even in, a comfortable jail, pillowy bed as you, you should die from a disease. Yeah. It's one thing getting fucked in the butt in like a comfortable like pillow top, but this is like a metal bench. And do and, 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 and you know what you know you want to know how disrespectful this is? I bet you no one put their foot on his head as a as a True. show of, of like compassion you, and romance. We're talking and, to one of those guys that was fucking <laughs> that was raping an AIDS guy in God. prison, and you were like, put your foot on his head. He'd be like, dude, what's wrong with you? <laughs> He'd look He's at like, you I'm, not a, I'm not I'm not a like, monster. What are you, a fucking psycho. Yeah. No. Well, if you had a life sentence, if you had a life sentence, that's not a bad short ticket out. Just fuck the AIDS guy. No, Catch I think the that's fucking a bug. Shitty way out is AIDS. Catch the bug, yeah, but it takes a good fucking fifteen years off your. Yeah, but if you got shit meds, like yeah, HIV is going to turn. Yeah, stuff back then do. there wasn't that many. I think yeah. I think that was a I think that was a quick death back yeah. then. Yeah, but yeah, because yeah. it was it was still uh, post Reagan America, so you weren't really access to like drugs and stuff. I love Ronald stuff. Reagan. I know you do. No, but, I don't give a fuck. Uh, I what well, your dad you does. Him. I know your dad. Your dad, man. Of course. Yeah, of course. Dying of AIDS in jail is probably one of the worst ways to die. 
Yeah, it's not fun. Just catching the bug in jail, being like, I'm going to get out. I'm like, yeah, I caught the bug. I watched uh, 30 for 30 on Tommy. You remember the Rocky Five? Yeah. Was it Tommy? Tommy yeah, Tommy, Tommy Gunn. Tommy Gunn, yeah, yeah. What's his last name? Tommy. Uh, Tom Morrison. Tommy yes. Morrison. Yeah. Did you watch that the, the 30 Duke. for 30? Yep. Oh. And he denied, and he denied oh. having AIDS till he died, and it was he, so he obvious. He got AIDS, accepted that he had AIDS. Yep. And then started reading that he's like, they're just trying to fuck me. Because he was a heavyweight boxer. Uh-huh. Yeah. He was pretty good. He was pretty good. He actually won the WBO uh, world title, yeah. knocked out Razor Ruddock, who was yeah, like a, yeah, yeah. who was a dude on the rise. Like Tommy Morrison was legit, and yeah. then but his his only problem that he was like a sexual beast, so he never he didn't he was one of them country boys. Didn't believe yeah. in condoms. Didn't believe in none of that stuff. He thought that was pussy shit. He's like men fuck without <laughs> condoms. A, he was Hell a man. Yeah. He was, yeah, he was yeah. a fucking beast. Well, yeah. So then he got AIDS, and then he was like, I don't have it. Yeah. He, he <laughs> literally <laughs> he, it was, it was thought you were gay if you had it. Well, he he initially when he got diagnosed with it because he had to get blood tests for a fight. Yeah. yeah, and then he was like, "I do have AIDS." Yeah, but then when he got a little older, he got a little fucking crazier. Yeah, he, he got, well, he, he, his life got depressed. He got really as shitty. Fuck. He, uh, really? I think he took a yeah. second test. He claimed to have taken a second test. He claimed to have took a second test, and gone. they said, "Oh, what well, came back po- negative?" So I, I, I must have gotten a false positive. And then there was like all these because I, I remember because I'm a huge boxing uh, dude and. I remember just seeing pictures of him as time would progress because he wasn't. He said, "I don't have AIDS. Nothing's wrong with me." Yeah. So he'd still be, he'd bro, he'd still be working out feverishly and doing. So he would keep in good shape. But as the disease progressed along, he'd get more and more gaunt Ooh. and skinny. And and but he'd show up to all these like boxing deals and take pictures with all these guys. And like yeah, I'm here with the former champ. Yeah. And then he'd be like this and like he's skin and bone. So he just started yeah. fighting with like featherweights and stuff. No, he, he, didn't no, they, they, they <laughs> wasn't he wasn't allowed to fight. Drop weight classes and started dominating. Did he go to like? Uh, I think he did fight though. He did fight. Uh, he had one more fight in yeah. like out of country. Yeah. Like weird. Yeah. He won. He was trying to do shit. Yeah, he won. So he was fighting with AIDS? He started wearing black eyeliner at the yep. end. It looked like he was there wearing like black yep. eyeliner. He was a weird... <laughs> That's appropriate. He fell apart, dude. I think he just couldn't come to grips with it. And even when yeah. he died, uh, they tried to give some excuse. His mom eventually did say, like, hey, there's complications yeah. from you know what. Oh, because you know? Uh, I think it was... On his death certificate, heart attack. Yeah, because from the AIDS. from the from the AIDS from, from AIDS. complications. You, oh yeah. yeah, AIDS doesn't kill you; it just makes yeah, you susceptible you from yeah. to die from anything. He got like a bug bite while he was in jail for drugs. Yeah. And got a heart attack. And the bug bite because his immune system was shot just fucked him up. Jesus yeah. Christ! And he, then uh, he had no T cells. And then his friend went over to the house to visit him, and he like saw him sitting on the couch, and he was like, "What's wrong with Tommy?" And the, the, his wife, who was a lunatic, was like, "That's ah, a bug bite." And he, yeah. and he was like, "No, he's dying of AIDS. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's dying right he's now. He's dying of AIDS. as we speak." And he died like a day later. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. Anyway, there was all this AIDS talk. That's a good way to end it. Yeah. yeah. That's, 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 but, that's uh, how you wrap it up. Wrap it up, kids.